I have this album that I'm putting together centered around this concept of this evil clone version of me versus the actual me. It is a bit stressful, but I did want to fully transform into this character I've created in my head. You should go hard or go home. Hi, I'm Brucey Boy, and today I'm getting flame tone hair. I grew up in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and North Carolina. Moving around a lot probably led me to not really be put in a box. Like I was always adapting and kind of wanted to look different because I felt different. Growing up, my mom only determined my hairstyle. I looked ridiculous, dude. I had like this short of bangs. Since then, my hairstyle has changed two times a year. I have this industry showcase coming up and I want to show the people watching me, Brucey Boy. I am Sam Labella and I am an international artist for Loxy. I specialize in bold color placement, editorial color, vivid fashion colors. I am a traveling international artist, so I work all over the United States. Hi, Brucey, I'm Sam. Hi, Sam. I'm so excited. So what are we wanting today? We want some tritone red bleach tips. Sort of like a flame effect? Yeah. The inspiration today was actually a drawing that Brucey sent to me before I even met him. I thought this was so cool because I see a lot of photographs as inspo, but never a hand drawing. Today, what I'm doing on Brucey is giving him a flame tricolor melt. The most important aspect of going to a vivid color is getting the hair light enough in order to achieve maximum brightness. And if their hair is previously colored, it makes it very difficult to lighten out of that artificial pigment. The first step in coloring was the dark base and the pre-lightening for the flame melt. My lightener used here is Ultra Lightener and 30 volume. I utilized Tones, Aloxy's Demi Permanent Color Line in 3N or level three natural and just a couple of chips of 1N or one natural. Our first step was to paint the sides and the back using my Tones mixture in the deep dark brown. Tones, which is our Demi line. It's awesome, the longevity is killer. It has crystallized micropigments, so that dark base is going to hang out longer than a lot of other brands. Next, I went through the top of the head and the crown, melting our Tones, dark brown, into my Ultra Lightener mix. And every slice was foiled. I used our Ultra Lightener, which lifts up to nine levels safely. It's not chemical smelling, it has a beautiful and even lift, and it doesn't trash the hair, which is a bonus. <laughs> Once we reached a level nine, I rinsed the color and lightener, shampooed the lightener out of the hair, and finished with Color Lock, Aloxy's post color finisher. After we rinsed out our color lock, I brought Brucey back to the chair and we dried his hair, prepping it for our flame melt. After he was dry, we went back to the color bar and grabbed Aloxy's Ultra Hot in red and a bowl of Aloxy's Ultra Hot in yellow. There's two kinds of people that do hair color. There are hairdressers that do color and then there's like mad scientists who want to intermix and tweak until they find like that perfect color that's in their brain, that like fluorescent highlighter yellow as opposed to like a lemon yellow. Now it's time to paint our melt. Sectioning out our pre-lightened pieces, I painted through each section red melted into yellow freehand. My mom was in the beauty industry as a sales rep, so I grew up in the industry. I was able to take my first color class at 11 years old and have really just never let it go since then. I did this throughout all of our pre-lightened sections and allowed it to process for 15 minutes. Next, it's back to the bowl to rinse it out. It's important here to rinse our vivid colors in cold water. 
After rinsing out the melt, I finished with Aloxy's Color Lock. Now it's back to the chair for a trim and a blow dry style. It's time to see Brucey's reaction and the final reveal. Okay, I think we are done. Oh my God. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, dude. It's crazy, yeah. dude. Are these the colors you imagined? Hell yeah. Good. Boy, yeah, I'm that's it. See, like, I'm sorry, I'm like, I just don't even recognize myself. I'm like, who's this <laughs> cute guy? Who's this guy? Yeah. Cool, my mom's gonna be so pissed. <laughs> this is exactly what I imagined in my drawing. Even better, honestly. I know nothing about like hair color and stuff, so I don't think I really had a gauge for like the exact colors. I just knew I wanted it red and yellow but she literally like picked out the most ideal shades of red and yellow, so it's like better than the drawing almost. Sam definitely created the alter ego look that I was going for. Brucey was super excited. I think it's exactly what he was picturing when he described his ideal flame melt. I'm honestly kind of looking forward to seeing how people look at me when I walk on the street. Like, I want people to run away from me. I think that would be ideal. More so than turn their head. Turn, they will turn their head and then they'll run. And that's what I think will happen. The way that you look is a direct expression of yourself and your art. I feel like people actually walk differently when they're in a hairstyle that fits them. All right, so, we're gonna FaceTime my mom because I think this is gonna be priceless. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. Oh wow. Are you proud of your son? Oh God. <laughs> oh Lord have mercy, my heart is racing. Yep. It's going back. Mommy's little angel, right? Yeah. But they they did yeah. an amazing job. Also, you're on camera. Hi! <laughs> so. Hello! <laughs> Thank you, Sam, for the hairdo. I'm in love with it. Gonna do great at the show with it now. Gonna look sick my EP shoot. Do you think this look will turn heads? Do I think this look will turn heads? I'm answering a lot of questions with questions. <laughs> it's the hair, <laughs> the evil clone's coming out. <laughs> I'm like, what the f do you think? <laughs> oh god, this is dangerous. 